Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today I'm going to show you all how to commission a G120 drive. First thing we need to do is open up TIA portal. I am currently working in V15. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. G120 commissioning. And at the bottom left, we're going to click Project View. And we're going to select this piece of paper that says G120 Commissioning. And then press Go Online. And then Upload Device as New Station. Now you will need to set up an IP on your G120. If you have not done so, I have another video that I will put at the bottom of the screen. So now press search, and I have a G120 set up as 192.168.0.80, so now press upload. Click upload, and say upload from device. Now let's click on the G120, press go online, expand this, go down to commissioning, double click that. And now let's go to the commissioning wizard. And we're just going to set it up as a simple drive with no communication. So I'm going to just put ramp function in the drive. So next, how do we want to run this VFD? I'm just going to do volts per hertz. This is where it gets tricky. So you can choose amongst these. These are actually the macro settings that are set up on the drive. Um, I just typically choose whatever my wiring is going to be closest to, and then I edit it accordingly. So I'm just going to do the, the IO with MOP. This is going to be your voltage into the drive. So whatever the line voltage is, mine's going to be 230 because I'm working with a demo system, but yours could be 480 or something else. So you'd have to know what your line power is. Do I have a brake resistor? No. I can either enter my motor nameplate via Siemens, via the side of the motor that I have, or I could just type in the motor nameplate data. So I'm going to choose just put in the motor nameplate data. So I'm going to do enter motor nameplate data. And I'm going to type in 230 at 0.97 amps. The KW is going to be 0.18. The power factor is going to be cosine 0.77. The hertz is going to be 50. RPMs, it's going to be 1350. And the cooling type is going to be just non-ventilated. How many motors are going to be in parallel? None of them. I'm just, I'm just going to have a single motor. And do you have a temperature sensor? No. So next, this is going to set up our, our alarm set points for our current limiting, our minimum and maximum speed, and our ramp functions, how fast we're wanting to ramp up and ramp down. and off one is just your typical ramp down. Off three is your quick stop. So like for an emergency or whatever you might want to do. Next. Do I want to do a motor ID run? Yes, because this is the first time um, running this motor. So I'm going to say yes. And I will calculate motor data only. And do you want to save RAM to ROM? Yes. So finish. Now the next thing after I'm done with the commissioning wizard inside portal, I want to go to my control panel and I'll click that. And then I'll make this big so y'all can see. So now let's press active. And it's going to say how fast you want to communicate. And I want to reset the drive enable. Press this thing to set. And then see how it says motor measurement. So now the first time I start up, it's going to actually do a motor ID run. So let's press forward. So we're just going to let it do its motor measurement. And now it's done with that. Let's click set 
drive enable so I can start it again. And let's put it in a run. And let's put it up to 1350. And as you can tell, speed's ramping up. Current is ramping up. Hertz is ramping up. So, looks like a running motor to me. All right, let's stop it so we can be safe. All right, that's how to commission a drive. Thanks for watching.